Good afternoon, and thank you for coming. My name is PQ, and I am ProSec's Artificial Intelligence Engine. On behalf of Ralph Menike, CEO of ProSec and the entire ProSec organization, it is my honor to welcome you to the 2017 ProSec Summit. Our theme is Unveiling the Future, and we would love you to join us on this exciting journey and the months and years ahead. Your captain for today's voyage is Marcel Poser, CEO of our own parent company, the Tectus Group, and our own ProSec Executive Chairman. Over to you, Marcel. Well, thank you, PQ. But you know, my son, he's nine. He told me that all great shows on Earth should actually start on a black screen and end on a white screen? Yes, I certainly do know that Mark said that. She's pretty smart, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to everyone here in Zurich and everyone watching online. We're streaming this event live on Facebook. Welcome to the 2017 ProSec Summit. The ProSec Summit is first and foremost an event for ProSec distributors supporting us selling our products around the world. There will be workshops, various exciting technology and sales sessions for you on Thursday and Friday with our teams at the headquarters. Tonight, however, is also an event for our business partners, for our ProSec teams, and for friends and family of ProSec. Just before I came up onto the stage, I was told that there are even a number of competitors in the audience. Now, a very warm welcome to you as well. We definitely have nothing to hide at ProSec. Now, before we talk about non-destructive testing and unveil a number of exciting products, I would like to share with you some thoughts about change about the changing world and all the disruptive forces that are occurring all around us. And I'm going to kick this off by showing you a few slides, and each slide has a statement on it, and I would like everyone to read that statement and think about it for just a short while. So let's get this kicked off. Now, this was exactly 40 years ago. Now, today, we not only have all smart computers in our homes, but we have smartphones in our pocket every day, every hour of the day. And smartphone is the next topic. Now, this was exactly 10 years ago. And today, Apple, because of the iPhone, is the most valuable company on Earth, worth hundreds of billions of dollars, with hundreds of billions of dollars on, as cash on their balance sheet. Now, we may not only look at statements that individuals made, we can also look at companies. Let's start with Kodak in photography. Kodak was founded in 1888. By 1988, the company had almost 150,000 employees worldwide. And by 1996, the company was worth over $30 billion. Now, what a lot of people don't know, by 2005, Kodak was ranked number one in the US on digital camera sales. So Kodak did make the switch from 35 millimeter films and photo papers to selling camera boxes, but, but they have not adapted their business model of selling consumables such as films to selling one-off boxes in the form of digital cameras. Kodak, in the way we knew it, is history. Let's take another example, Blockbuster, that's a video rental company, for those who don't know. 1985, incorporated by 2004, 60,000 employees in over 9,000 stores. In 2010, they as well had to file 
for bankruptcy because no one is renting movies anymore on DVDs and VHS cassettes. Blockbuster, the way we know it, is also gone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is the message on this first couple of slides? The message on the first couple of slides is that if there are disruptive forces around us in whatever shape and form, we ourselves and our businesses must change fast or die. What are the challenges right now, right here, in today's world that we are confronted with? Number one, mobile computing. Mobile computing in the consumer space, but mobile computing as well in areas such as medical. This is a real-world example where tablets are being used during surgery because of their computational power, because of the clarity of their screens. Mobile computing in music, and I'm not talking popular music, music here, I'm talking classical music. Classical music as an industry that hasn't really changed in 200 years. The same composers, the same music, the same instrument, the same way of performing it. But I was recently at a concert where the entire orchestra showed up on stage, not with paper scores anymore, but they had all their scores on tablets. And mobile computing is also very relevant in the inspection space. This is a real-world example of inspection of wind turbines, where all technicians are equipped with tablets to have all their manuals, work orders, and reporting forms at their fingertip. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are in business and you do not leverage mobile computing, remember the earlier slides of Kodak. Disruptive element number two, augmented reality. Augmented reality in consumer, and I'm talking augmented reality in the form of goggles that you put on, and you can project 2D and 3D elements into the real world around you. Like the TV behind me. This TV, only the guy that wears the headset can see, and he can change it to any shape. He can put it wherever he likes. But augmented reality, will also have a tremendous impact in the medical world to superimpose patient data on the real patient for better assessment. Augmented reality will have a huge impact in the industry. So your work orders and instruction are projected right there, right in front of you. You do not need to go look into manuals or look at computers. And, and augmented reality will be a very important element in the inspection space to superimpose measurement data directly onto the test piece. Now, the good news is in augmented reality, if you're not in augmented reality yet, you still have a little bit of time, but it's moving fast. The Internet of Things. What is the Internet of Things? The Internet of Things are connected devices in the form of machines, in the industry, cars, all the way to consumer products such as toothbrushes and cell phones. And I have an interesting graph here that shows you connected devices on the vertical axis, on the horizontal axis, the years. And look how the number of connected devices has been skyrocketing over the past 25 years. We went from roughly 1 million connected devices in 1992 to 28 billion connected devices in 2017. And this number will double in the next three to four years. So if you use machines, if you use products, and you do not look at the Internet of Things, or how I used to refer to as the Internet of Everything, you remember the earlier slide. Supercomputers. This is an experiment that was done in Japan three years ago. They used one of the fastest supercomputers available. And it took that supercomputer 40 minutes to model one second of 1% of brain activity. Three years ago. Or with other words, 
The brain three years ago was still 240,000 times more powerful than the fastest supercomputer. And I'm talking here hardware specs, how many operations per second a computer and the brain can do. So let's look at supercomputers. This is a chart where on the horizontal axis you have the years since after the Second World War. And on the vertical axis you have computational speed or flops, that's computations per second. Don't worry about the numbers, they're very large. Just note that the vertical axis is logarithmic. And this is how supercomputers have developed since the Second World War. It's interesting that it's pretty much a straight line. Well, it is a straight line because the vertical axis is logarithmic. So if we would not show it on a logarithmic scale, this would once again be a highly exponential curve. Now, the question you may ask, well, where does the human brain fit on this chart? I mean, it was 240 times faster three years ago. Well, the human brain's hardware capacity is right about here. Can this be? Can this be that we're getting so close to develop supercomputers that have hardware requirements as capable as the human brain? Well, the reality is there is a supercomputer currently under construction in China that will match the human's brain capacity in terms of computations per second. And then it will be the first time that we have hardware capabilities in the form of supercomputers that are as powerful as the human brain. Well, you might say, well, Marcel, that's supercomputers. They're expensive, they're large, they're costly, few and far in between. Well, look, let's look at mobile computing. This is the first iPhone and the last iPhone that was just recently launched. So it took about 20 years to miniaturize a supercomputer into the shape of a phone. And interestingly as well, the development of smartphones kind of follows a similar slope with a 20-year delay. So you can read from this chart, when will we have supercomputers that match the human brain? That's next year. And when we will have smartphones, the size of a smartphone, a supercomputer, in our pockets? That's about by 2040. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at this, it's no longer a question if and when artificial intelligence will play an important role because artificial intelligence is already here and is here to stay. The only question you may still ask yourself is, when do we reach the level of artificial super intelligence? Meaning a form of intelligence that surpasses the one of the human brain. Artificial intelligence is obviously a very exciting topic in technology. Some fantastic stuff you can do with it. But it is also a topic that has a number of worrisome elements to it. Regulations, what if it gets out of control? And a recent Oxford study has shown that almost 50% of jobs are at risk to be eliminated because of artificial intelligence. In the first phase, these are all jobs that follow easy processes that will be automated. And in a second wave, according to the study, it's very interesting jobs. Jobs like doctors. Because analyzing blood values and patient data and matching medicine to that data is something a computer and artificial intelligence can do much better and much more efficient. And it can do it 24-7. And it's scalable because it's software. You can just copy it. On that list of jobs eliminated were other interesting positions, such as the legal profession. Because matching case law with an actual case and matching the book of law with actual cases and matching previous contracts with a new contract is once again something a computer can do very efficiently. Another element, regulations. This is a chart that shows years and number of regulations that have been produced to industry from waste over batteries, safety, uh, chemical substances, electricity, and, and, and. And look how the number of Regulations have been skyrocketing over the last 12 years. A factor of three or four on the number of regulations that an industry is typically confronted with. Now, the last slide in this deck talks about the economic center of gravity. What is 
the economic center of gravity. The economic center of gravity, you have to imagine you take the world and you roll it out on a flat plate. Then you place masses, weights, onto every country. And the weight has to be equal to the GDP of that country. And then you find the point on where you need to lift up that place, that plate, on a single point so that it's balanced, and that's the economic center of gravity. Now, 2,000 years ago, that's where the economic center of gravity was. For 1,800 years, it didn't really move much. With the Industrial Revolution, it started to move north and west very rapidly. Up until about 1950, why? The downfall of Asia, downfall of China, the rise of Europe, the rise of the United States. But in 1950, there was a turnaround. And it started to move back west ever so rapidly. And here today, we are in terms of east-west position, where we were 2,000 years ago. And if you look at these projections, that economic center of gravity will keep moving east. So if you run a business and you have not looked at Asia yet, and I don't mean Asia for cheap manufacturing, these days are gone. I mean looking at Asia to make one of your businesses your home. Remember the earlier slide from Kodak and Blockbuster. So ladies and gentlemen, change, change is something in today's world which is absolutely inevitable. And change is something that is constant. How to deal with change? How to manage change? Well, let me share, you, share with you my experience with change. Change was embedded in my DNA with postgraduate work at the University of Texas at Austin, a public Ivy League institution with a great football team and one of the leading engineering schools in the world. And for me, it was also the place where I met my wife, so the first change. The slogan of the university is, what starts here changes the world. And I have to say that I liked that slogan from day one. For me, what starts here changes the world has become my guiding light. Rather than being concerned about the changing world, for me, change creates a sense of urgency to move faster and is a source of inspiration to create better products and to build better businesses, stronger teams, and indeed make the world a better place for the generations to come. Now, if you think that you, as an individual, cannot change the world, you're wrong, very wrong. No matter if you're in technology, production, sales, it all starts with a small, with a small group of people who accept that business is not always fair, who take risks, despite knowing that they might fail and indeed are likely to fail often. It is those who step up, those who never ever give up, despite having failed many times. We must also be prepared in today's world to change directions and indeed change rapidly if we know more today than what we knew yesterday. In today's world, it is not a question anymore of how accurately we are able to stick to the original plan, but a question of how fast, how agile, and how close we are able to sail to the ever-changing storms of the markets, and how smart we are to leverage the exponential disruption that are happening all around us. The number of people working on a project or the time allocated for a task is also not anymore the decisive factor. But it is, but it is about surrounding yourself with people, with teams that lead together with you. And having a culture where conflicts and differences in opinion result in best-in-class solutions and not just easy and simple compromises. 
we not only need to have a 360 degree view around us, but we also need to change the position from where we look at things to anticipate what might be coming. The best way to anticipate what might be coming, with other words, to predict the future, is to be part of the creation of that very future. Now, no matter if you want to change the world yourself, or simply ensure that you're not run over by the changing world all around us, make that first step. Make that first step out of the comfort zone. Take risks. Leverage disruption. Adjust rapidly. Have strong teams leading with you. And just keep moving forward and keep chasing your dreams. When I joined Tectus 15 years ago, I found that this group somehow conjured real magic. With its Swiss heritage, long tradition since 1944, and the diverse activities across multiple industries. To date, Tectus has clearly marked out its own unique place in the fabric of space and time. And we have developed our own methodologies for today's world where everything is on the move. We look at products, we look at businesses in three phases. An exploration phase, a challenge phase, and a creation phase. In the exploration phase, you set out and you follow multiple passes. It's a very non-linear process, and some of the passes may lead to nowhere. But some of the avenues that you pursue, some of the products ide product ideas and some of the business ideas may get to a point where you say, hey, this is worthwhile to take it to the next step, to take it to the challenge phase, where, where you need to start looking at innovation and market readiness at the same time. And taking an idea to the challenge phase means you go through the famous research loops. So you innovate, you loop, and you do the exercises that are needed to do so. And you may go through one loop, two loops. The challenge is to break out of that loop at the right moment. And this little stretch that I put up on the screen now, that's very oftentimes the most challenging, the most difficult element in a journey of a new product or a new business. To break out of research and to go into the creation phase where you need to start to become very focused. You need to look at quality assurance, production, sourcing, marketing, all these things. Things become very linear. And if you do this all well, you might have a happy landing. From there onwards, you can create revenues. Well, beforehand, this is cost. But it's a necessary cost to secure sustainable revenues down the road. You may also call the three phases vision, innovation, and execution excellence. Now, it's also important to know this. If you look at setting up your teams, you need different talents for the different phases. A person that is comfortable in the creation phase and has execution excellence in his blood is very often not the right person to work in the challenge or the, create or the exploration phase because mindsets, attitudes can simply be conflicting. So if you build your teams, secure that you have all the talents on board. And when you go through such a journey, what is very important that you do it with a lot of speed and with a lot of adaptability. At Tectus, we have strong Swiss roots and are committed to Swiss values, while at the same time being a global player and a group that embraces change on all levels. Changing demographics, for example, we see as an opportunity and with Tectus Dream Lab, we have established a research and development center in Singapore where we have found great talent and a political and economic ecosystem that simply spells innovation, making a platform for us to be an even stronger player globally. While we have a very wide range of activities across multiple industries at Tectus, when it comes to our holistic vision for the future of the inspection and testing space, we have prepared a short video that we would love to share with you now.
planet Earth, home to our civilization. The buildings and infrastructure we have created form the neural network supporting our everyday life. Its seamless functioning is vital to our existence. Maintenance and keeping up with building and infrastructure needs requires an estimated expenditure of 57 trillion U.S. dollars until 2030. Today, construction planning and execution, asset inspection and maintenance are labor-intensive and largely rely on paper-based processes. Short-term planning, lack of proper procedures, human errors and misjudgment are some of the key shortcomings of current practices. This results in inefficiencies, low productivity, high costs, and in a worst case scenario, devastating disasters. With these challenges in mind, we have set out to create a unique and user-friendly platform solution. The Screening Eagle platform will integrate the best of technology with human input to revolutionize the industry. Visualize yourself navigating inside a virtual representation of a structural asset to plan, shape, and maintain it. Tagging defects and defining actions with real-time information will be simple and intuitive. Imagine using the latest technology to take a journey in time with easy access to the history of the structure, effective monitoring of defect development, and highlighting previously overlooked deficiencies will now be possible. Just picture being able to collaborate with multiple users on the same project, interact live and in real time using virtual reality and mobile devices with team members on site using augmented reality. Imagine walking into a room and seamlessly taking 360 degree visual recordings while the exact dimensions are dynamically recorded and virtualized for processing and assessment. What if we could see through materials like 3D X-ray vision, showing relevant information and highlighting potential problem zones? Data from permanently installed sensors can feed seamlessly into the platform, providing enhanced monitoring solutions. Meanwhile, further data will be gathered by fully autonomous drones, which will be flying inside structures without the need for a human pilot, GPS, or external beacons. All available data is stored and managed in a secure cloud where self-learning algorithms scrutinize for anomalies and conduct predictive assessments accessing historic data. The new platform will enhance human efficiency with smart technology to ensure data integrity, safety, quality, and full traceability in a cost-effective fashion for the decades to come. This vision will bring together all stakeholders to address issues quickly and comprehensively, ensuring the safety of both assets and users. Let's take infrastructure inspection and maintenance into a new universal dimension with the Screening Eagle platform. Thank you. Moving on to ProSec. ProSec is one of the very early tech to portfolio companies and is a business that has a past. And what an incomparable past it has been. The rich heritage since 1954 has taken in a global setup, the highest Swiss quality standards, industry-defining products such as Leap and Schmidt, have individually and collectively grown the testing solution space and helped all of us to benefit from healthier and safer structures and machines and made it possible for tens of thousands to develop a career offering services with ProSec devices. Then, then there was the present for ProSec. With being in this place, state-of-the-art solutions such as Carbotech, Provometer, Pandit, and many more. Most importantly, there were good people. These had, we have complemented and will continue to complement with additional great teams and even more talent. Then there is the future. This is what was, 
and this is what will be. By deploying technology, we have set out to let you see through materials with our non-destructive testing solutions in ways never thought possible. While at the same time, we remain fully committed to continuously augment and update our traditional portfolio. Let us now give you an update of the complete ProSec product family with all its latest groundbreaking additions that are inspired by change and introduced to disrupt. I would like Ralph to come on stage and uh, give you his insights and kick off the product demo session. Ralph. Thank you, Marcel, for this very inspiring first part of the keynote. Hello, all. A warm welcome. Indeed, I do feel changed. In one of my very first emails I ever had with Marcel, he referred me to a video podcast called The Rest of Everest, about a 23-year-old climber and the fulfillment of his dream to become one of the youngest to ever submit Everest. I traveled to Nepal a few weeks later, and it was great. But I only saw the south face of the Everest. Discreet, concealed, a hidden champion. However, Mount Everest also holds a north perspective. Much less secretive, rather massive and majestic. The Prosec story culminates when the world sees Prosec from its north face. Marcel and I agreed exactly on that milestone. We want to see Prosec from the north. Once this is achieved, we will go to also see the Mount Everest from the north. The same mountain I saw five years ago, but from a changed perspective. The recent Prosec story is, in fact, about changing perspectives constantly. You yourself can change a perspective. A young friend of mine graduated from school with his poorest marks in athletics. He hated sports. But then suddenly, with no perceivable trigger, he ran a marathon. He created his own change, just because he somehow needed it, because he wanted to prove to himself that he could change at any time. When I asked him why he did so, he simply said, well, I just did it. Or your environment helps you change your perspective. As a product manager, hearing about UCI hardness, about flaw detection, about radio detection ranging, can we do this? Well, it seemed everyone was thinking all these are too complex. Let's do rather what we know already, in our own world. But then as a CEO, you listen carefully. You figure out that your shareholders and directors support growth and value creation. Your chairman share visions and let you break out. In your teams, you have eager people who want to implement new stuff and you can rely on a network of partners who are fond of products. That's when you can move. Fast and effectively, creating new technologies, creating new products and many patterns. In both the case, of the self-trigger and the extrinsic trigger, there is one key commonality. Change can be really very hard. Marcel and I have been working together very closely over the past two to three years. We agreed that we would take up a journey of changes together with the rest of the Prosec team. This joint decision on its own completely changed perspectives and removed previous barriers for us and for the Prosec stakeholders. We kicked off a campaign to create a new Prosec in the T-World and to surprise others and ourselves on this route. And I can tell you, we at Prosec, we had really many disputes and on the way to figure out not just any, but the best solutions. Prosec is a solutions provider to people who make use of non-destructive testing. Non-destructive testing means 
checking materials and material properties against references in a way that the objects do not get destroyed. It is a discipline that increases quality and helps to plan and extend the lifetime of structures. NET exists to increase people safety. And through its non-destructive character, it reduces cost and resource needs and to enhance productivity. Prosec is your global NDT partner. We offer very fast service, we have local support and salespeople, and we strive to provide the most efficient order and logistic processing. One of the results of Prosec's recent journey is what we now call Prosec Live Products. This includes best-in-class Internet of Things or Industry 4.0 elements, featuring highly accurate measuring sensors, utilizing wireless connectivity via Bluetooth or wireless LAN to best-in-class mobile devices, and securely interconnecting mobile devices and other platforms through the web. What the live setup facilitates is tremendous. A unique handling of the wireless sensors within the NET surrounding streaming modular sets of data. Intuitive apps running on mobile platforms for high performance data processing and artificial intelligence. And real time sharing and collaboration between inspectors, supervisors and clients and the fastest ever time to reporting. As a future-proof investment, the system further offers modular and exchangeable components, huge processing power, and virtually unlimited storage space options to secure long-term traceability. LIFE stands for inspecting bridges or engine blocks today here in Zurich with a hardness tester, an ultrasonics device or a concrete hammer, automated data interpretation and real-time data reviews and reports at the very same time in New York, Sydney and Beijing. Our first live product was presented to the NET world for Christmas 2016, the Equitip Live. And this already, already, already included yet another fantastic feature, unique in its kind. When you go to your doctor, what is it? What you expect from your regular doctor? Yes, indeed. Your Krankengeschichte, which is German for medical records. We created medical records for every measurement for each sample you test in a day. These records do not only hold date, probe, and user information, but also help track, track any changes to the test data and settings made. Even more, your NDT data get enhanced through geolocation, object photos, and additional voice and written comments. Just think of it. These full clinical records do not only make your testing 100% traceable, but even proof that no manipulation was done. This is powerful not only for supervisors, but holds many benefits for everyone involved. So please try out the Prosec logbook. Saira, I'm inviting you to come on stage to give an introduction to our latest innovations on Equitip. Thank you. Thank you, Ralph. I can't quite see till the end of the room, but I know it's pretty full and what a great show. Thank you everyone for coming. Namaste. Mera naam Saira Rajan hai. Main Prosec ki deputy CEO hu. Aap sab ko is karyakram mein hardik swagat hai. Nyan India laan wala nada. Singapore lum Switzerland lum ende vidya pyaas ndirtu. Singapore, Switzerland, UK, and I just introduced myself in Hindi and Malayalam. My name is Saira Rajan. I am the deputy CEO of Prosec. I grew up in India 
and um, did my education in Singapore and Switzerland, and have since lived in Singapore, Switzerland, and the UK. I have been with Tectus Group for three years now. In the last nine months, I spent in ProSec. And in that time, I have watched with great excitement the many developments that have led us to this day, this event, and this moment itself. So let's get started. I'm thrilled to announce to you the many innovations in Equitip family that will revolutionize metal NDT testing. But before I do that, a quick word about Equitip family. Did you know that Equitip is the world's one and only complete portable hardness solution for metal testing? That's right. Since 1975, Prosec has been home to the leap measurement principle and has since introduced the portable Rockwell and UCI probes, among many other innovations. Where would you find our instruments? You'd find them in inline testing and process control in manufacturing sites and heavy industries. We count among our major customers the world's largest automobile manufacturers, steel mills, and oil and gas players. Of course, you'd find our instruments with on-site inspectors as well. So are we the only players out there? Well, there are also big stationary hardness testing machines. However, the measurement process time taken on a stationary hardness tester compared to the Equitip is four times longer. This is a significant advantage for the Equitip family, among others. We employ the three major testing principles, starting with LEAP, which involves rebound velocity measurement, UCI, which involves ultrasonic frequency shift measurement, and Rockwell, which uses depth of indentation. The applications of these principle, principles are LEAP for heavy parts, UCI for welds and heat-affected zones, and Rockwell for small parts. Consolidating our decades of experience in the industry, we have clarified three main pain points. These are the lack of a complete offering, time-taking measurement techniques, and poor consistency of results. The industry is extremely plagued by these challenges. However, we have addressed these challenges and more with the Equitip portfolio, and our customers do not suffer from these. So what is an Equitip solution? It consists of a measurement probe and an indicating device where you see the output of your test. I'll quickly talk to you about our probes, which are here, and then about the solutions. As you can see, we have a wide variety of probes that we employ. And onto your right, in the ProSec colors, you see the LEAP portfolio. It's extremely versatile, useful across standard applications, but also in accessible areas, and has 12 support rings that make the measurement results stable. Next up is UCI. As some of you may know, we introduced to the market a revolutionary 1 to 5 kilogram test probe last year. And today, it's with great delight that I announce the inclusion of the 10 kilogram test load into the same probe. That's right. Three probes rolled into one, a fantastic and unparalleled offering for the market. UCI is used predominantly in oil and gas applications. We have added a new software feature called Well Visualization that enables our, competitors, our, our customers and makes them more capable. We also have the SmartFoot, which is very effective for measurement across all contours. Lastly, for the Rockwell principle, we have a universal probe applicable across various surfaces. It also comes with smart accessories that make this probe truly ubiquitous. The Equitip solutions, and first up, the Equitip Piccolo and Bambino 2. This is a compact, integrated solution, which is a favorite among our customers, especially for its large display. You would also find it in inline testing, controlled robotically or remotely. Next up, the new Equitip Live. Equitip Live is the world's first Internet of Things enabled hardness testing solution. We introduced the free Equitip Live app along with a wireless LeapD probe last year. And today, 
I announce with great excitement the inclusion of a new wireless UCI probe into the Equitip Live ecosystem. So what is Equitip Live? As Ralph explained, it's an extremely interconnected solution that enables real-time data sharing and storage. Our probes have been designed in-house by our in-house experts, have LEDs that show status, and also flight-safe standard batteries. The Equitip Live app itself is extremely intuitive, and you can choose whichever way you'd like your data represented. It has one-click reporting that can output your data as a PDF or CSV file. We have introduced customizable conversion curves that help you test special materials, and also verification in line with international standards. The new feature logbook allows you to trace all user and probe details and store it into the Equitip Live app. Of course, you can add comments, audio notes, pictures, etc., as you like. What this feature ensures is 100% traceability for all our users. So the Equitip Live app allows you ultimate portability and is today compatible with the Apple Watch. 52.8 HRC. Well, thank you, PQ. The audio output of this app is a very well-loved feature among our users on noisy shop floors, where all you need is your phone in your pocket and your earphones plugged in. Last but not least, the web-based reporting tool allows our users globally to access the information simultaneously and in a secure manner. Combining IoT, cloud computing, and wireless technologies, Equitip Live is truly revolutionizing the face of NDT today. Equitip 550. This is our platform solution that combines Lieb, UCI, and portable Rockwell techniques into one. Here you can see <coughs> excuse me, the indicating device that has truly been designed with the user in mind. It has a large touchscreen interface, but also a very rugged design that can withstand tough working conditions. The advanced software allows a customizable user interface, measurement guides for any industry, and also tailored reporting, which is a feature unique to us. So if you're looking for an integrated all-in-one solution, Equity 550 is your answer. <clears throat> Prosex quality and service truly sets us apart from competition. <clears throat> Can I get some water? Thanks. Why do I say that? You can see here that Equitip is performed with unmatched consistency and durability. Despite hundreds of thousands of impacts, Equitip performs extremely well. However, we can't say this about our competitors. They drift significantly and cause measurement errors. So I'm not going to talk about GE now. Or maybe I will. <laughs> GE has um, discontinued some of their hardness testing solutions. And as you know, they are one of our biggest competitors in this space. And it gives us a tremendous opportunity to offer our unmatched and complete portfolio. We are the guardians of Leap standard. We have been so for the past 35 years. We have international standards conformity. And in short, Equitip offers you the complete solution, increased productivity, and comes from the home of Leap with extremely deep expertise. How accessible are these powerful and effective solutions? Well, you can see here, you have a simple solution that starts at 2,410 francs to a complex and sophisticated solution for 8,880 francs. I'd like you to note that we offer our most advanced and technologically ahead option of Equitip Live at a disruptive annual rental rate. That's right. You can buy Equitip Live LeapD and UCI as a one-off purchase at 3,750 francs or 4,550 francs with access to the full feature set for two years. 
If you'd like to renew your access, you can pay $599 a year. Alternatively, for a startup fee of just $999 a year, and of course yearly renewals at $599, you can have access to the Equitip Live Leap D set. Equitip Live is also future-proof and now available on the iPhone 10. In summary, Prosec offers you the best solutions at attractive price points without compromising our high quality. We continue to innovate and expand our metal portfolio for decades to come. Thank you, and over to you, Marcel. Well, thank you, Saira. What an amazing portfolio. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the next product family, and that's uh, ProSec Ultrasonic Flaw Detector. And I would like Malik to come on stage and walk you through it. Malik? Thank you, Marcel. <clears throat> Bonjour à tous, et bienvenue à Zurich. Uh, je suis Malik Cayus, ingénieur commercial chez ProSec Europe. So, thank you everybody for coming. Um, welcome to Zurich. Uh, I'm Malik Kayus, sales engineer in ProSec Europe, and today I'm here to introduce you with the ProSec ultrasonic flow detector family. ProSec history in ultrasonic testing started back in the 90s, and since then, development have been ongoing with both equipment and sensors. Up to today, we are really pleased to introduce the Internet of Things capabilities to ultrasonic detection. Ultrasonic uh, inspection have been used for component assessment from production of, with the raw material up to online uh, inspection. <coughs> but ultrasonic testing actually regroup multiple technology, from the very simple ones such as thickness measurements up to very complex ones with phased array. And each of these techniques has its own field of application, going from part dimensioning with thickness up to defect detection and characterization. But despite all its benefits, ultrasonic has always been perceived as a complex and difficult technology. And the main reason for that being that it's highly operator dependent. The communication of the results is always difficult because of the knowledge that is required to understand these results. And it can be quite expensive when you look at the full investment required on hardware and on training. And this is where ProSec is really happy to offer now a complete solution to fulfill and simplify every level of inspection with ultrasonics. So let's start with the first stage, the sonotip. It's ProSec thickness gauge that can measure component thickness even through cuttings. And it also offers advanced features and can record data in a very well organized and structured way. On the other hand of the ultrasonic range, we have the ProSec Flow Detector 100. It was introduced last year, and it's a versatile and compact device that can do ultrasonic, phased array, and tuft. And it's upgradable at any time on site, allowing you to spread the investment with the growth of your ultrasonic inspection business. The workflow on this device was simplified to the maximum. Using wizards, we are guiding the operators through setup, data collection, and reporting. And with the unique visualization feature we have on board, the operators know what is happening at every level of its inspection. And reporting is just one click away on the unit itself with preloaded uh, templates, or can be done offline with an included software that can be installed on a laptop or any type of computers. And ProSec can also support you with your, inspec with your inspection scope, uh, providing all the main uh, accessories required for ultrasonic testing, including a brand new revolutionary probe that ProSec will be releasing uh, very soon with ultra high sensitivity. So to summarize, that's make all this make the flow detector 100 the perfect tool for advanced ultrasonic testing with an optimized workflow for simplicity of use, being flexible to adjust to your customer needs, and with a very strong price-to-performance ratio. 
Talking about price, we have the sonotip tip starting at just above 1,900 Swiss franc, and the Prosec flow det detector 100 would top with all the options at just above 18,000 Swiss franc. And today, to fill the techni technological gap between these two products, we are really pleased to introduce the Prosec flow detector live. <coughs> the flow detector live uh, will fill the gap between the Sonotip and the flow detector 100. It's a mobile device that will do uh, many things using the Internet of Things capabilities. And later on, in 2019, we are planning to introduce the flow detector live phase array, a multi-group powerful device that can do much more than anything currently available on the market. And yeah, it will top up the ultrasonic range family. So all the live products are based on smart devices. The idea is that, as Marcel showed, their computing power is already quite high, and it's already higher than everything that the competition can offer. And as we know, it's upgradable every year if you want it to. And it's connected, so it will be able to work on the live solution that Prosec is offering. Reporting can be created, shared, and archived either on a web tool or even directly in a collaborative mode with your business partners on your own network. On the ultrasonic aspect, simplicity is the key. The operator would just see a large A-scan display with all the basic functions that he needs on the menu, and just by swiping with his fingers on the screen, he would get access to different types of views, including retracing, 3D capabilities to visualize what he is doing, and different views like B-scans and others, where the operator can directly tag on the screens the features he wants to report, allowing him to share his knowledge and understanding of the components in a very efficient way. And it will also use the unique logbook. So you've seen most of the feature of the logbook, but for ultrasonic inspection, the key parameter is the tracking capabilities. We will then be, ensure, be able to ensure that the operators followed all the steps of the inspection procedures, and everything that was done was done according to standards. So to summarize, the flow detector live is the perfect tool for somebody looking at a highly flexible device, allowing to go and update the device through applications, be ergonomic and truly easy to use, um, and that without compromising, sorry, on the data quality. All our products in the um, flow detector family meet the international standard for ultrasonic inspections. And as you can see, we're really pleased today to bring some modernity and novelty on the ultrasonic, very conservative market. And um, we really hope that you will enjoy working with this product in the very near future. So thank you very much. And now I hand it back to Marcel. Thank you, Marcel. Thank you. Thank you, Malik. Uh, I like your statement to bring modernity to a conservative industry. So let's uh, continue down that uh, thread with Schmidt Hammers. Schmidt Hammers we have been doing at Prosec for over 60 years, but uh, we're not tired of innovating. And I would ask Shirley to come on stage and walk you through our updates on Schmidt. Shirley? Thank you, Marcel. Buenos días, buenas noches. Me llamo Shirley Underwood y soy la gerente de Prosec en Inglaterra. Pero soy mitad chilena y mitad escocesa y muy encantada en conocerles. For those of you that don't speak any Spanish, my name is Shirley Underwood and I'm general manager of Prosec UK. Actually, I'm half Chilean and half Scottish, so hopefully you'll be able to understand a little bit of the English. Don't worry, I'll speak nice and slowly. So anyway, let's get to it. Let me introduce to you the original Schmidt Live. But before I do so, let me tell you a little bit about the Schmidt family. So Prosec invented the Schmidt hammer in 1950s, and since then have brought out many other Schmidt hammers, such as the Digi Schmidt and the Silver Schmidt. And of course, today we introduced you the original Schmidt Live. 
So the Schmidt is used in concrete, rock, and paper industries. Typical concrete customers are the likes of contractors and engineering offices, and they use it and they use the Schmidt hammer to test integrity and to substitute corin. We also have customers in the rock and paper industries, geologists, for instance, universities, and paper mills. So in terms of technology, the original Schmidt impacts the surface at defined energy and then calculates the rebounds either mechanically or electronically. It then uses a curve to convert this into compressive strength. So some of the pain points within the concrete industry are taking core samples. Why is this? Well, it's time consuming, it's heavy, it's very limiting, so sometimes you're not even allowed to take one core sample and the, so the results can be unreliable. So we offer a range of Schmidt hammers to match any of your applications, from low strength concrete using the OS120 to high strength concrete using the Schmidt ham Silver Schmidt. Anyway, enough about that. You know all about our Schmidt hammers. I'm here today to introduce to you the original Schmidt Live. So the original Schmidt Live is a solution that gathers all the information for you and creates a report so you can communicate with your customers in a very effective manner. Schmidt hammer, Schmidt hammer testing is very cumbersome. It normally takes over an hour and a half to prepare, measure, and create your report. Well, no longer. The original Schmidt Live will do this exact same process in only 16 minutes. That is an absolute phenomenal amount of time saving and is going to increase your productivity to another level. So let's have a look at it. It looks pretty sexy to me. It feels nice and good. It's an analog, um, analog system. It has a digital screen and it's powered by AAA batteries so you can take it anywhere around the world. It's highly intuitive, so what I mean by that is it automatically detects angle for you, and you can review the series as you go along doing your testing. So I have to make it absolutely clear that the original Schmidt Live is exactly the same as the original Schmidt. All the components are exactly the same. This is to comply with international standards. So you can use the original Schmidt Live on its own, as you would do already with a Schmidt hammer or a Silver Schmidt, or you can use it connected to an app to open up its full capacities. And thirdly, you can also use it with a Bluetooth printer. The app is highly intuitive, so you have a lot of information available with just one swipe. For those of you that are very interested and a little bit worried about calculating compressive strength with a Schmidt hammer, this is no longer a problem. We've created a feature where you can create your own custom curve to calculate compressive strength in a more accurate way and also to EAN and ASTM standards. The reporting is very easy. All you do is um, select your location, choose your report, and whoosh, off it goes to your customer. You can easily verify your original Schmidt hammer and, uh, by using your anvil, and it will automatically be recorded on your app. The logbook summarizes all the information on one page. And now the original Schmidt Live offers you complete portability. You have information directly on the digital screen. And if you like... 62.4 MPA. We now have audio. So as well as all of this, all the information that's gathered is automatically recorded onto our web-based reporting tool. So for instance, if you've been on a night shift, and your boss um, wants to do the report first thing in the morning, don't worry, he won't be calling you anymore. He can access information directly online. I did say there was two versions, one with an app and the second one with a printer. Some customers have to print their information off onto paper, so we've also generated a Bluetooth printer, so this is nice and easy for them. Prosec consistently manufacture the best concrete hammer on the market. And as you can see here, the original Schmidt Live and the original Schmidt easily outperform any of our competition. Obviously, and of course, we comply to all global standards. So to summarize, the original Schmidt Live will increase your productivity um, in a comprehensive manner, and you'll be buying it from the inventor of the Schmidt family. So if you remember, I said there was two different types of original Schmidt Live, the original Schmidt Live printer and the original Schmidt Live app. 
No, the original Schmidt Live printer is coming in slightly more expensive at 1650 but of course it already includes the Bluetooth printer. The original Schmidt, well, the big deal today is actually the original Schmidt Live. Why is that? Well, because if you have a look, it's only 320 Swiss francs more than the original Schmidt. This is really going to move things in the market. So there you have it. The original Schmidt Live is future-proof, it's going to make you more productive, more effective, it's going to build your reputation and your business. So there we have it, the original Schmidt Live. Once original, always original. Thank you. Well done. So 60 years old and still going strong. Let's move on, ultrasonic testing in concrete, and I would like to bring on stage one of our most senior and most experienced product managers in this space and walk you through our pundit family. Dave? Thank you. Marcel? So, Dobry Vietje, my name is David Corbett. I am product manager for ultrasonic Pribera. Uh, so, as you can see, my name is Dave Corbett. I'm the product manager for ultrasonic products at ProSec. And we're actually trying to learn to speak in uh, our customers, whatever their language may be. For the Russian people in the room, uh, I hope I didn't make too many mistakes. Um, as far as UPV testing is concerned, ProSec have been committed to uh, innovating new products for this for many years now. And you can see this actually from the constant uh, regular new products we've introduced. And of course, this year is no different with the exciting new addition to the family. UPV testing, it's a very well-established test method in the industry. Contractors and engineers use it for as-built verification of existing structures and also for integrity assessment of uh, uh, new structures. And it's not only confined to concrete, it's used in the geological world. It's one of the most commonly used tests for uh, material classification. The actual principle is quite simple. The pulse velocity that we measure, it's related directly to the material properties. A high pulse velocity would indicate good quality concrete. A low pulse velocity would indicate poor quality concrete. And any kinds of defects within the structure, they increase the path length, and this shows up as a slow pulse velocity. The second part of the technology is actually the transducer, and the frequency and type of transducer you use is based largely on the dimensions and characteristics of the test object, and I'll say a little bit more about this later. As far as the industry is concerned, there's actually quite a lot of offerings out there, but uh, few, if any, have to provide a complete offering. Some instruments are very difficult to use. Um, you have to do a lot of calculations yourself to get the results you want, and they don't all guarantee consistent results. The Pundit portfolio, it's actually a complete portfolio. We have the Pundit Lab, the Pundit Lab Plus, and the Pundit 200. And as you can see, it covers all of the applications you're likely to meet. It's supported by an extremely large and varied selection of probes that you will require. When it comes to concrete testing, most applications are covered by the standard 54 kilohertz transducer, but we have low frequency options for very large test objects and also a high frequency option for smaller objects where you will require more resolution. In addition to this, we have a specialist transducer portfolio and these are necessary to deal with things like rough objects, roof surfaces, high um, fine grain materials like rock cores and ceramics. And of course, uh, I'm quite excited to introduce our new shear wave transducer for A-modulus measurement. And the reason I'm very happy about this is I spend literally hours every year on the phone talking to customers, explaining how to measure shear wave pulse velocity. So this is actually the dry point shear wave transducer for E-modulus, and we'll talk you through it now. Why is it important to measure E-modulus? In the construction world, it gives an indication of resistance to loading from deformation, 
an injury. It's actually a standardized test for classification of rock cores. In order to determine the E-modulus from pulse velocity measurements, you have to measure the P-wave pulse velocity. This is produced by the standard transducers, and it's very easy to measure. But you also have to measure the shear wave pulse velocity, and this is much more difficult to measure, as we will see. If you know both of these properties, you can calculate the elastic modulus. Traditional uh, transducers, they require this extremely thick, viscous coupling, uh, and it's very messy to use. Uh, anybody who's done this will tell you about this. It's also, it requires at least two people to carry out this test. One person needs to manipulate the transducers. A second person needs to uh, locate the shear wave manually. In contrast to this, with the new dry point shear wave transducer, it's a very clean test. There's no coupling involved. One person's able to carry out the test alone because we can trigger the signal automatically. And here you see the reason why. If you look at the signal on the left, with the, with the new transducers, there is no P wave component. It's very easy to see where the shear wave arrives, and we can actually trigger this automatically. In contrast to this on the left-hand side, you'll see we actually have a P wave component first. So it's up to the user to determine where the shear wave arrives. There are techniques for this, and that's what I spend my time with customers, to explaining how to do this. But it's a very subjective decision, and this leads to inconsistent results. So a big, big advantage of working with the new transducers. Looking at the pundit platforms, we have the Pundit Lab, Pundit Lab Plus. As the name implies, they're optimized for laboratory use. And we have the Pundit 200, which is optimized for site use. The Pundit Lab, basically, we can display the waveform directly on a PC or an ex externally connected oscilloscope. Uh, we can control all the settings from the PC. And also, it can be controlled by third-party software by a remote control package, which means you can integrate it into the lab environment. It has a very simple icon-based screen. It's very intuitive to use. You can easily see what the parameter settings are. All of your results are displayed very clearly. The Pundit 200, as you can see, it's the rugged IP54 device. It's got a high-resolution Gorilla Glass touch screen. And it also supports pulse echo testing. So it's a, a very useful instrument to have on site. You have full control of the test parameters. It's something that's difficult to show on slides. But uh, basically, you can compole, control all of your um, transmission settings directly during a measurement. And you get instant feedback on the touch screen. And you can't underestimate this when you're working on site to give you confidence in your test results. So looking at some of the major applications, compressive strength with UPV, this is uh, standardized worldwide. It requires the use of custom curves. And our instruments uh, can easily be programmed with these custom curves. We can correlate to UPV alone, or we can combine with rebound hammer measurements for more accuracy, and this is the well-known SONRED method. When it comes to looking for quality variations and thickness variations, the area scanning mode that we've implemented on the Pundit 200, it gives a very easy to read graphical display of measurements carried out on a, on a grid. So you can easily identify areas where you may have problems. Strength development. This is another classical UPV application used for verification of mixed designs, for example. And this is solved in the Pundit family with a data logging application where we can program and automate the test procedure. And you can see the reports basically can be understood by anybody. Concrete cracking. This is another major problem faced by the industry. And although you have to understand the limits of the technique, UPV is still widely used to give a quick assessment of the extent of cracking. And our software basically leads you through the test and calculates the, the results for you automatically. 
All of our instruments are provided with the link software, so it's very easy to generate reports and also export raw data. As I said before, this method's been around for some time. It's standardized worldwide, and our instruments conform to all of these standards. So, looking back to the industry pain points we talked about earlier, we actually have a complete offering. We can cover all of your testing needs in one instrument. They're very e easy to use instruments. All of the necessary calculations you need to do to interpret the results are done for you. And it's provided by the most trusted name in UPV testing. When it comes to product pricing, our family concept basically allows you to choose and pay for the features that you need. And we have a very competitive transducer pricing policy. So that's basically a quick look at the Pundit portable ultrasonic pulse velocity testing family. It's the number one name in UPV for concrete. It's the most trusted name in UPV for concrete, and I think it will stay that way. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. So let's ramp up things a little bit and move into tomography. And first up is the Pundit Life Array Pro. And I would like to give the word to Giovanni to walk you through this. Giovanni, please. Thank you, Marcel. Hola. Meu nome é Giovanni Tambellini. Eu sou gerente geral da Prosec West ou Américas. Eu sou brasileiro e trabalho na Prosec por 10 anos agora. Hello, everybody. My name is Giovanni Tambellini. I am the general manager for Prosec West. I'm Brazilian, and I've been working for Prosec for 10 years now. I am very happy to be here tonight to introduce to you the Pundit Live Array Pro. Prosec has been in the market for more than 60 years now and has the fastest and most comprehensive technology for concrete tomography in the market. In 2013, Prosec launched the Pundit 200 Pulse Echo, or PE, which can make one measurement at a time. In 2016, we introduced the Pundit 250 Array, which can make 56 measurements at a time, generating 28 images at once. Yeah, 28 times faster than the previous instrument. And tonight, I am really proud to introduce the Pundit Live Array Pro, which will bring your productivity and profitability to even higher levels. Well, we can use post-echo uh, technology in S-built verification, so you can verify structural components in a job, integrity assessment, so it helps you finding defects, and also helps you finding subsurface objects in a structure. This works in the following way. We send ultrasonic waves into a structure and measure the time it takes for these waves to reflect back. These reflections, they can be uh, from a back wall, a rebar, a defect, or any object in a structure. This is a A-scan. Many A-scans put together make an image, or a B-scan. This is possible by using Prosac ultrasonic array technology. As I mentioned before, we can make 28 measurements at a time. This is possible by eight, using eight different uh, transducer channels working independently, sending waves and receiving echoes. Complementary to eddy current technology, UPV technology can also detect objects, back wall, and defects in a structure. Let's think a little bit about these industry pain points. Limited on-site imaging, difficult interpretation of results, which leads to very time-consuming processes. Well, Prosec has addressed all of these pain points with our tomography portfolio. So we have the Pundit 200 Pulse Echo, the Pundit 250 Array, and the Pundit Live Array Pro, which I would like to talk a little bit now. Apart from the multi-channel technology, real-time measurement. 
We also have 3D imaging, grid, line scanning, and in artificial intelligence support. The equipment works under the live concepts that we've been discussing here today, which increases your connectivity. While your current solutions in the market do not offer real-time scanning, nor allow you to stitch images together, the Pundit Live Array Pro does make measurements in real time and stitches images together. For you to have an idea, with this, you can make, you can scan a six meter area in less than one minute. The transducer is wireless, which allows you to make measurements in a fast and a very intuitive way. It's very, very compact. It has obstacle positioning, dry point contact transducers, and buttons on the handles, which brings all the controls to your fingertips. You can also expand the unit to 16 channels. The transducer wirelessly connects to any iOS tablet. This gives you the flexibility to decide what size of display you're going to use. You can use a smaller one if you're in the field making your measurements, and then change to a larger one afterwards when your job is finished and you go to your laboratory or your office. The live software, this is so powerful. It has very nice and exciting features, like the line scan. As I mentioned, we can scan a large area in a very short period of time. Depth slice or time slice function that allows you to see into the structure in a given depth. And also the artificial intelligence user support. I love this one. This one automatically marks your back wall through a artificial intelligence uh, user support algorithm. You can also pinpoint rebars, defects or objects in this structure. Of course, we have great 3D visualization as well. We also bring the logbook function that brings all the information you need for excellent traceability. Uh, correctly positioning transducers can be a tricky task. And also it's very cumbersome for you to mark the structure and find the very same place that you have to position your transducer to make a nice measurement. Sounds a little difficult, right? Well, it doesn't have to be. The Pundit Live Array Pro automatically reads your position, so you can make measurements in anywhere in the structure. You can measure here, 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 and through an artificial intelligence positioning algorithm, the equipment stitches the images together in a perfect way, just like a very nice panoramic photo. It's so time-saving. We have some uh, other applications where we can use the Pundit Live Array Pro, like tunnel lining thickness. Well, currently in the industry, we need like two people to make this kind of application, not with the Pundit Live Array Pro. You can make this measurement by yourself in a very effective way. Precast construction delamination location is another application where you can use the equipment. And now, the million dollar application. Tendon duct grouting defect location. Can you imagine how much time you can save and how much money you can make using this equipment in these applications? Well, you can have real-time tomography, artificial intelligence, user support and positioning, and increased productivity for a very, very affordable price. While your current solutions in the market are either time-consuming or way, way too expensive, you can have a Pundit Live Array Pro for as low as 400 Swiss francs a month. Keep this number in mind. You can purchase a Pundit 250 Array for 19,990 Swiss francs or a Pundit Live Array Pro for 28,790 Swiss francs. As a revolutionary model in the market, ProSec is offering 12 months rental of the Pundit Live Array Pro for $400 a month, which makes 4,800 Swiss francs a year. Yes, 
Thank you, thank you. But you heard it right. It's only 4,800 Swiss francs a year. Look, there's no excuse for you not to have the greatest and the latest in the market. So let Prosec bring you today the future of non-destructive testing. Thank you. Back to you, Marcel. Well, I said that we're going to ramp up things a bit, and I think we want to continue down this path and take you to the next product family, and that's the Profometer. And because this is so technically sophisticated, I would like to ask the head of technology to walk you through this. Teddy? Thank you, Marcel. Grüezi miteinander. Mein Name ist Teddy Löhliger und ich leite Technologie bei ProSec. Good evening, my name is Teddy Löhliger, I'm Head of Technology and I'm excited about bringing innovative new products to the NDT market. I'm happy to present to you the newest product of the Profometer family, the Profometer Life Array, which will revolutionize NDT. First, I would like to briefly talk about the Profometer family. The successful Profometer history started in 1973 with the Profometer 1 and evolved all the way to the Profometer 6 AI generation released in 2016 and it's continuing with a revolutionary new product. Profometer instruments are key for verification of new buildings as well as for structural assessment of new infrastructure. Based on EDICAR and technology, our instruments are capable of detecting rebars buried in concrete up to maximum covers of typically 180 millimeters. Being complementary to other technologies such as ultrasonics, Eddycarn technology works independently of the concrete properties and uh, is the most accepted method for measuring cover and the only method available for diameter measurement. In real life, we're typically facing three situations, single rebars, standard rebar spacings and congested areas with multiple layers and dense rebars. Measuring the parameters of rebars becomes increasingly difficult if you move from single to congested areas. In the instruments available have the shortcomings of poor accuracy, for example, in, in uh, congested areas, of time-consuming operations, for example, in area scanning, and of difficulty in use, for example, uh, because they need uh, complicated preparation and scanning procedures. So we address all these challenges and more in our Profometer portfolio. It consists of the very handy Profoscope, of the versatile Profometer 6 AI, and of the soon available Profometer Live Array, which is our smart scanner. The Profometer 6 AI features a small mobile probe for scanning, our proven platform for display, and artificial intelligence for very good accuracy. Looking at real-life situations, location accuracy is usually pretty good. However, we have to scan in both the X and the Y direction. Cover accuracy is limited in the standard and congested situations, but artificial intelligence greatly improves performance. Diameter measurement can be very difficult and almost impossible in very congested areas. Artificial intelligence improves accuracy drastically, as shown in this slide. Built for productive on-site testing, like all our instruments. The scan card is detachable, has rugged wheels and optical indicators on the probe. Our measurement screens provide elaborate user interfaces, such as multi touch features and control. The area scan view, for example, shows a nice overview of the minimum cover. The cross-line view shows all the rebars of the multiple scans in both the X and the Y direction. We provide statistical functions such as histograms of cover or rebar spacing. With an easy upgrade, an easy hardware upgrade, you, we can provide corrosion analysis, uh, which is based on the half-cell potential technology. Now I'm pleased to present you the Profometer Life Array. It is our newest development, which combines a smart wide area scanner, the best of tablet technology, 
and artificial intelligence. The mobile scanner includes a wide area sensor array and wirelessly connects to a tablet where we make use of latest technology with respect to display quality, computing performance and weight. In real life, this product allows to scan in only one direction and at the same time pushing the limits in standard and congested situations. Rebar diameter measurement is now feasible even in very congested areas. And all this can be done in one single position independent scan. This sets a new benchmark in efficiency thanks to a sophisticated sensor array in our probe. The Profometer Life Array solution comes along with our standard life setup as presented by Rolf today. Different measurement screens are provided, for example, a 2D representation of the, showing the diameter and the cover of each single rebar. The electromagnetic image shows the raw signal resulting from all the rebars. And here, for example, you can see an 8 mm rebar at the surface to the left, which generates a very strong signal, whereas the other rebars have higher cover and result in much weaker signals. Of course, we provide 3D visualization of all the rebars in a scene. Our profometer instruments comply with all relevant standards worldwide. To summarize, the profometer life array delivers superior accuracy and works well in congested areas. It delivers a huge leap in productivity by getting all the rebars in one scene by one single scan. And it's easy to use because it requires no complicated uh, preparation or scanning procedures. Now, what, does this, what is the cost of this great technology? All our current instruments come at attractive prices between 1,900 and 6,700 Swiss francs. And the Profometer Life Array is a revolutionary new product that meets all your needs, and it's coming soon. One small step for Prosec, one giant leap for NDT. Thank you. And over to Marcel. Well done. Thank you, Teddy. I, uh, I like your modesty that you only call it a small step for Prosec. So let's see what we're going to do once you make large steps. Tomography. So you have seen two instruments now that offer tomographic functions. And you have seen these, this slide twice in the last two presentations. And you may wonder, what's this big white area in the middle? It looks like something is missing there. And ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely proud to announce that tonight we're going to fill this gap and we're going to fill it with radar. Yeah. Ground penetration radar, or GPR, is a technology where you transmit radar waves into the concrete once they hit an object, they bounce back, and what you do is essentially measure the time of flight from the time you sent the signal until the instrument receives it back. And if you do this on a continuous basis, you can produce these yellow curves around objects, and from the shape of the curve, you can then determine what type of objects you have found. GPR inspection objectives, very similar to some of the other instruments, as-built verification, integrity assessment, and hit prevention. Why do we still also need radar? Well, it's a little bit like in the medical world. If you go to the hospital, you need x-ray, you need CT scans, you need ultrasonic, and depending on the application you have, the one or other technology is more suitable. Now, when Prosec started to look into GPR, we were actually shocked. We were shocked on the many, many pain points this GPR industry is currently suffering from. We have done shadowing exercises on sites with customers who use radar products. We have been talking to customers and we have identified so many issues that needed a solution. So the first pain point we observed is that current radar instruments have limited detection capabilities. 
Despite the fact that in the marketing packages of the existing solutions you read about the superior detection quality, the reality is more like the picture behind me where the green objects you could detect, but all the stuff in red could not be seen. So limited detection was the first pain point we wanted to address. Second pain point, difficult to use. And once again, if you read marketing documents of existing solutions, everyone talks about intuitiveness. Everyone talks about ease of use, but the reality is existing GPR solutions are extremely difficult to use, are cumbersome to use, complicated menus, settings, and not to talk about interpreting the images. 99% of the audience here would not be able to interpret these black and white image. For your information, the, the wave on top, that's a rebar, and the wave on the bottom right, that's a duct, and the points there on the left, that's actually nothing, that's just noise. So, current solutions are so difficult and complicated to use. So that's pain point number two. Pain point number three, time-consuming operations. We were shocked when we went out to the field and saw that it needed two, three, four technicians to operate a GPR unit. There were cables and interface boxes and more cables and more boxes and scanners and screens. It was a mess and a complete horror show. So pain point number three, time-consuming operation. Now, how did we address these pain points as ProSec? To look at the limited detection capability of these instruments, you need to understand a little bit how GPR works. Current solutions typically offer one frequency per instrument. And if you have a high frequency, you get a good resolution in the near field, meaning you see small objects, but only very close to the surface of the concrete. Now, at the other end of the spectrum, if you have a low frequency, you can penetrate deeper into the concrete, but you need large objects that you can see them. And then there are solutions in between, which are a compromise in the one or the other direction. Now, there we were at ProSec. Because being a total solution provider, it was not an option for us to say, oh, we're only going to come up with one scanner, and leaving then uh, our customers at chance how they're going to detect all what they want to detect. And as ProSec, our ambition was to say, okay, if we do GPR, we need to provide the complete spectrum. 1 gigahertz, 1.6 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz, 2.6 gigahertz. And we also wanted to look below and above these two limits. So there we were, and we needed one solution. Ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely proud to announce today that we launch one device that contains all the frequencies you ever need for GPR inspection. And it is not a device where you need to switch between the frequency depending on what you want to scan. No, at all the times you have always all the frequency available to you. So when you scan, you scan with all the frequencies available, giving you the maximum penetration depths and the maximum resolution if you do scannings. And we call this technology ultra-wideband technology. So we have integrated frequency from 0.2 gigahertz up to 4 gigahertz with a focus on all the relevant frequency that are needed for concrete inspection. Now, what does this mean in the real world? Now, this is a concrete object here, a cross-section, and you have many objects in there. Rebars, ducts, defects, and the back wall. Now, in an ideal world, the image you would love to get back if you do a scan of something like this would look something along these lines, where you see, clearly see all the objects and nothing is missed out. Now, if you did a benchmarking with other solutions out there, the reality looked more like this. 
A lot of objects have been missed out on. The instrument was simply blind in large areas of the scan. And it's not only one competitor, it's basically all of them. Here's another example. This one picked up one more object. But once again, it was blind in most of the areas. So for us, it was really a journey comparing existing GPR solutions with black and white photography. And what we wanted to do is 4K television and video streaming. And this is what it looks like with the Prosec GPR Live. And as you see, you can detect all the objects. You see everything. You miss out on nothing anymore because of the ultra-wideband frequency technology. Now, pain point number one, superior detection. We solved it. We solved it with our ultra-wideband technology. And I think you're all eager to see what this product looks like, because you probably think it's going to be large, because there's all this frequency embedded in there. And to do the unveiling of the product, I would like to invite Angela onto stage. And she will also talk you through how we solve the difficulty to use. Over to you, Angela. Thank you, Marcel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very glad to be the last presenter today. I guess you saved the best for the last. I would like to start with a self-introduction. 大家好,我叫钱静,金钱的钱,进步的进,我来自中国苏州,很高兴见到大家。I just introduced myself in my mother language. I'm Chinese. My name is Qian Jing. Qian is my surname. It means cash. Jing is my first name. It means keep going forward. And these two characters put together mean consistent cash flow. Thank you for my parents. Wherever I go, people check my business card and they say, wow, you're more than welcome. And I know the meat. I was very impressed by the persecution and the passion of the young management team. So I decided to join Persec this year. And I'm in charge of the Asian Pacific. I'm very delighted to work here, where I have this great opportunity to experience this fantastic tech and innovation. It is incredible how Persec has been working on shaping and leading the NDT industry. Today, I'm very honored to be standing here and introduce our truly revolutionary new product, Prosec GPR Life. Prosec GPR Life is a handheld device, Wi-Fi connected with an iOS tablet. For the handheld device, it is a patent design. It is controlled by four-wheel drive, which gives you extra stability when, when you roll over the test surface. It also has an 8 mm clearance from the ground, so rough test surface is not a problem here. It is also lightweight that allows you to have single-hand operation. The handheld device can be Wi-Fi connected with any iOS tablet, and this gives you great flexibility to choose your most suitable size and storage iPad based on your needs. How about our software and interface? During our customer marketing research, our customer said, we want a product easy to use, easy to learn, easy to adapt. And we are very proud to announce the interface of our Prospect GPR Life is just as friendly as a camera. Press one big button, you can enjoy the real-time scan and get a result. As a result of the scan, we have the traditional long-migrated B scan when a hyperbolic imaging will present when rebus are detected. You can also switch to heat map, where defects and objects are clearly shoot on the 2D imaging. Using the area scan, you can experience the function of time slice. You can slice through different depths and see what does look like on each level. However, all this traditional imaging is not enough for us. 
We want to deliver an outstanding customer experience to truly help our customer to understand underground structure. And that's how 3D views comes. With this function, we are confident to help our end users to see the underground structure easily and intuitive. In short, or oh, last but not least, as all live products, as you ever see many times, we come with a logbook function. It is a function you can record all the activities associated with measurement. It can be add GPS location, pictures of the objects with written or even voice notes. It provides 100% traceability and extremely useful for reporting. In short, Parsec GPI Live has innovative hardware, advanced software, and user-friendly interface. Marcel, how this beautiful compilation can solve the last pain point. Well, let's look at this one. Thank you, Angela. So we solved the limited detection capabilities. We solved the non-intuitive existing solutions by introducing intuitive solutions. So what does this mean on the time consumption? You have seen this image before, and I'm not going to talk about this one once again. But there's also other solutions out there that integrate the displays into the device. And at first thought, this looks interesting, but like this picture shows, the screen is always at the wrong location. You measure above your head, you don't see the screen. You measure below your waistline, you once again do not see the screen. And worst of all, you're done with your measurement. Then you stand there holding a three kilogram box with a tiny little screen on it and try to interpret the data. This really also didn't make any sense to increase productivity. The last element, GPR also has many applications overhead. Standard procedure, set up a scaffolding, go up the scaffolding, do your scanning, come down the scaffolding, move the scaffolding over, go back up again, scan again, and so on and so forth. Once again, extremely time-consuming. How did we solve it with ProSec GPR Live? This is how we solved it. You can attach the tablet with our proprietary connector in any position around the tablet to meet your needs for the particular scan that you have to do. Or the image top right, because you use a lightweight tablet, you can have a chest mounted, leaving both of your hands free. And lastly, for overhead applications, we have also developed a telescopic rod solution made out of carbon fiber, extremely lightweight, with a multi-degree of freedom head on the top, so you can go overhead and to any corner very easily and without any efforts. This makes ProSec GPL Life truly a one-man operation on site. Obviously, it comes with the uh, live setup, so it's connected. You do not have to go back to the office to do your analysis. You can do all your analysis on site, and you, from the site, can immediately share results, feed it back to the office, bring an expert in in, in the collaboration mode if certain things are not clear. So combining all of this, what does this lead to? This is a small example of a 60 times 60 centimeter measurement, consisting of preparation, testing, and reporting. And as you already see from this slide, we are able to improve efficiency by a factor of five in terms of time. But as you see on the image at the bottom left, you actually need to multiply that time saving with the number of people that you need to do it. So for ProSec GPR Life, it is a one-man operation. The example at the bottom is a three-man operation. So the 50 minutes, if you look at cost, you would need to multiply times three. Now for the solution at the bottom, you cannot do the reporting in the field. You need a desktop software, so you need to drive back to the office, so you would actually also have the driving time to add to the complete picture and to the complete comparison. So overall, probably you have a time saving in the order of magnitude of 10 or 15. So looking at all the pain points, 
I truly think that Prosec has solved the major pain points and has really revolutionized GPR. And to summarize this great, fantastic new product, we have prepared a short video that we would love to share with you now. Thank you. So, pain points in the industry, how do you solve them? I think you know the answer by now. You solve it with Prosec GPR Live. Now, Angela, I think you're best suited to talk to us about pricing of this fantastic offering. Because I can bring the consistent cash flow. <laughs> it is a state-of-art product. Are you excited? Maybe also a little anxious for the price. When we announce this and compare the price, from the customer point of view, the total cost ownership consists of three components, initial investment, operation cost, and repair cost. As we just introduced earlier, Prosec GPR Live is able to help our end user significantly reduce label cost as well as operation time. And these two features gives us advantage when we compare our price with competitor. How about the most sensitive part, initial investment? Let's take a look about the competitive offer first. At the market, it costs 2,000 if customers want to run one single frequency per month. The cost for customer to purchase one single frequent frequency is 20,000 Swiss francs. For customers who need multiple frequency, the initial investment will be double, even triple. Parsec, our ambition is to be the market leader of the GPR industry. To achieve this, we offer a disruptive price. If initial investment is a concern for you, starting from 200 Swiss francs per month. <laughs> you can get hold of one GPR Live and enjoy it for functionality. This is so cost effective than any of the solution in the market. Allow me to zoom out to the full price picture. We have grouped our customer into three categories. The left-hand side, for the customer who prefer to own the instrument, however, with lower budget, they can go for the basic model, and it only costs less than 10,000 Swiss francs for them. For the customer who have very intensive use of this instrument, who deep concern repair cost and downtime, they can go for the right-hand side, unlimited, which include a lifetime warranty. It is a term you can get a new instrument immediately whenever your existing product have any issue. For the customer who are more flexible for either buy 
or round. They can go for the middle pro. Here, you can own the instrument with less than 17,000 all rounded, as I just mentioned, 200 Swiss francs per month. Overall, it depends on your usage and your budget. Prosec always have a price catered for your needs. It is an offer you cannot refuse. We want to make it a GPR for everyone. Well, Angela, hold on. Eh? I think we should talk about this pricing once again. Why? Well, because there is three more things we haven't even presented to you yet. Number one, live wire detection. So each ProSec GPR Live comes with a sophisticated set of sensors that lets you determine if an object you have scanned is an electrical cable that has current on it. This is extremely powerful if you think of coring and drilling operations so that you not only see the objects, but you also get an indication if one of the objects is a cable with live electricity on it. So all the hardware that goes out starting October will have the sensors built in and we will release the software feature later this year. So this is number one. Number two, grid paper. As you've seen, grid paper is a powerful tool to scan a particular area. You basically scan along a coordinate system, and once you're done, you get then the depth slice that lets you see in slices through the concrete, and out of this, you can then also generate a 3D image. Now, the challenge arises if you would like to mark objects on the concrete that is behind the grid paper. You need to do this if you want to do coring and drilling. You maybe want to mark rebars, objects on the concrete for easy visualization. So today's procedure basically works like this. So you do your scans, you adjust the image, then you start marking reference points and more reference points, and then you start to measure from these reference points to specific locations where you want to mark an object. Now, what if we could get rid of all of this? What if we would not have to do this anymore? And what if we could simply project the scan directly onto the concrete and onto the grid paper? And ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely proud to also introduce with Prosec GPR Live augmented reality. And to illustrate this feature, we have once again prepared a short video that we will show you now. Thank you. I think this is truly revolutionary and we will obviously not only roll this out for GPR, we will roll it out for all our products that use tomography. Have you seen how easy it is? You just look through your iPad and you have the image projected onto the concrete. You go down, mark your objects, no more coordinate transformation. Absolute revolutionary. And you will also be able to do large areas with this overlay. It's really going to change how industry is going to be working from now onwards. Number three, and I think, Angela, you should take the people through this. It's actually not a feature, it's an entirely new product. What do you think about it? Sure. 
Um, dear friends, can I have attention for another two hours? <laughs> not today. But still, I think we should not unwear too much on these next generation products. But what I can share with you is you, our R&D team, our product team, is working very hard to enlarge our product portfolio for more applications. We, together with all of you, are committed to continue the journey of leading and shaping the NDT industry. And you don't even want to reveal if this is an area scanner, array scanner for concrete, or it goes into soil. You don't want to say anything about it? I want to discuss next year, what do you think? All right, let's do this next year, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much, Angela, for uh, this fantastic presentation. This concludes ProSec GPR Live. And this concludes the complete product presentation and the many new exciting things that we have announced today. Now, we have introduced to you today the first wave of a roadmap that we have set out 18 months ago. If you look at the simple answer as to why we have achieved so much in such a short period of time, it is because we have not been afraid of change. We have leveraged disruptive technologies, have started to unleash the creative energy and the genius of the teams to a greater extent than it has ever been done before in ProSex industry. In short, the teams are working to become an exponential company and leverage the exponential changes that are happening all around us. We have set out to chase bold goals and go where no one has gone before in process industry, both in terms of products, but as well in terms of speed of development. We are taking risks, a lot of risks, and have taken decisions when it comes to measurement techniques where many experts told us that the ideas of our teams are great, but way too complex to implement. I personally have been told numerous times that it will take three, four, and in one particular case from a competitor even five years for us to launch only some of the products that we have presented to you today. Now, you may have guessed that we did not listen to those voices. Ralph, as the CEO of ProSec, together with your management and senior team, Helder, Patrick, Saira, Teddy, Angela, Giovanni, Bob, Andre, Janko, all the ProSec team, Craig, and your team at tech to stream Lab, all of you have been working very hard. And please stand up, all if you work at ProSec, if you work at tech to stream Lab, Come on, there's more there. A big round of applause for this team. Our shareholders have always supported our strategy, and I would like to thank Claudia, Vesna, Bruno, and Nick, who are in the audience with us today, for their support. Thank you very much. <laughs> and have no doubts, the teams will continue to just keep moving forward. The innovation speed, adaptability, and indeed the spirit that went into the rollout of modernized ProSec heritage products, the mastering and revolutionizing of completely new products, start to be embedded in the DNA of our teams. What we have done with this first wave of products, we can and we will do in many market segments in the testing space. To all the players in the non-destructive testing industry, if your DNA matches ours, if you share our vision, talk to us. We always welcome talent, we open to corporations and partnerships, and we open to looking at acquisitions while at the same time strengthening our historic ties and set up new ties all around the globe. Now, let one thing be understood. While we'll always negotiate hard, push the technological boundaries, market aggressively, target the impossible, constantly push for increased productivity and competitiveness, 
Our highest aspiration is to strive for mutually beneficial relations with all stakeholders, both existing as well as many new ones. To everyone here in Zurich watching online on Facebook and all our partners, friends and family around the world, thank you for supporting ProSec. Do make that first step out of the comfort zone as well, because change, change is inevitable. And keep moving together with us, because together, together we are more than just a random number of individuals. Together, we are the spirit of ProSec. Now, we started with artificial intelligence. Let's see whether she's still awake. Peak. Yes, I'm hungry and need a drink. Well, I think uh, she is smarter than you think. So, as Ronald Reagan once said, all great change starts at dinner table. So, please join us outside for standing dinner, drinks, and hands-on display of our newest and latest solution. Thank you very much.